Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, you find a way to lose. Hey, why, why hasn't Al Heyman already come out and announced what the plan is for his fighters? Uh, I mean, hey, if you want to finish out the year, I get it. I understand what, you know, uh, budgets, contracts, uh, fiscal year funding, calendar year funding. Uh, I understand at, at the end of the year, most of the time, there's a lot of money that needs to be spent. And that's how, you know, they're able to put on these last couple of events uh, by the end, end of uh, calendar year uh, 2023. But going into 2024, seeing that Al Heyman knew that this was coming, you know, Showtime knew that this was coming, he figured they'd already have, that he'd already have something in place and would already have big fights announced for 2024 for his fighters. It doesn't quite seem that way. Now again, Al Heyman is a guy who keeps his business to himself. No one's really talking and saying anything. There's a lot of speculation. And you know, I think that's healthy to, to, to just throw things out there and stimulate the conversation. And uh, because that's one thing that I like to do. So for me, one of the talking points that I wanted to bring up, and I don't know this, but I've seen several people posting stuff and talking about this that Al Heyman right now is looking for investors. And from what I'm gathering, now again, this is just a conversation. If you're looking for facts, go find a fly, go find a fly on the wall uh, who doesn't talk and uh, you know spray his ass with Ray or slap him around, and uh, maybe you could have time to teach the fly how to speak English. And, and then maybe you finally, you'll get all the facts and know exactly what's going on with Heyman and the Secret Society and everything else. Because I don't. But uh, I have an idea. It, it sounds to me, and this would make sense, that Al Heyman doesn't want to take all the risk. Okay, because now you, with his fighters that he has, even a guarantee of 500000 right? That's not something that, from, from what I'm understanding, that, Al Heyman wants to take on. He wants to bring on investors where he can use their money to pay his fighters and put on events. And in turn, based on every event that he has, give them a return on their investment. So let's say they give him a budget of a billion dollars, right? It's just a right, billion dollars. And he plans so many fights over a certain period of time. And the plan is to make a certain a certain profit margin on every fight. So when you sit there and you work all that out, and you sit down with these investors and say, hey, if you give me this, this is kind of in, in a, in a, uh, being you know very reasonable and conservative in our estimates, this is where we should be. And the reason why I feel that way is when you look at historically, when we've had these events, this is how things have performed. Um, how are you going to package that up and deliver it to an investor? I don't know. But it, 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 it makes sense to me that he's looking to, to, to bring on people and use their money, not his own, to come out and to make sure that going into next year, he can keep the party going. But I think, I think it, it can be interesting because nobody can explain that piece about what I talked about the other day, about the 10% the to the distributor, 45% to the cable company, which is gone now, and that other 45% to the fighter and the promoter, right? That 45, that whole 45% that was being taken by Showtime for pay-per-view, right? Revenues, that's that's gone now, right? Showtime's out of there, so that 45%, my thing is what happens to that? So it, it just depends on how they go about marketing the fight, how he sets up this 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 this, this pay model for this new venture that he's gonna he's gonna launch because I'm assuming he's gonna stay in boxing. It's gonna it it, it, it it may be even more lucrative, maybe even more money on the table for fighters. But then again, the problem is no guarantees. It could just be basically hey, your profile. Um, uh, and, and how you perform, how you sell the fight, that's going to determine how you get paid, how much you get paid. If you come out here and you can sell a million pay-per-view sales at a $79.99 price point, you make a bunch of money. 
if you do 60,000 pay-per-view sales, well, you're probably not going to make that much. Uh, but it's, it could just be given uh, fighters a platform for them to come out here and, and basically push their product to the masses. But, but if, if that's the case, if you got fighters who, who, are, who are pretty comfortable why would they go out there and, and, and risk, you know, putting their lives on the line, getting in tough fights with, without having a guarantee or having a very low guarantee and now hoping that, you know, pay-per-view performs uh, at a certain level that it hasn't performed for them in the past. So I don't know how it's going to work out, but, uh, but my understanding is, and it kind of makes sense, that he's looking for, you know, investors. And, you know, more than one, multiple investors that come in and accept, accept some of the risk um, with putting on, continuing to put on fights for these boxes, especially outside of Showtime. But more to come on it, we'll see. But there's a lot of little conversations that are starting to take place now. And I tend to believe that there's some, there's some truth to it, that this could be the direction that, you know, he's going is right now kind of has an idea of what he wants to do, but he just needs, he needs the money. Because without being able to give, especially the, the, the big name fighters guarantees, he could hit a wall. Because I, I'm not so sure how many of those fighters would be okay with just getting the ring without a guarantee, knowing that the event could flop. You know, so we'll see. That being said, man, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans. All seven consonants. I'm gonna go to bed. In the breeze.